You are listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast, and today is July 11th, 2024, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, hit like and subscribe, then head on over to hellocupcakeitsme.com to give the blog some love, and then make sure that you head on over to youtube.com slash hellocupcakeitsme to check out the YouTube channel, give it some love, and... Like and subscribe over there. Follow me on all the different social medias. You'll find the links in the show notes down below. And then make sure that you check out my upcoming book, Carpe Diem Scrotho, 365 Daily Affirmations, scheduled for publication this November 2024. So, y'all, it has been fucking hot the last couple of days here in the Pacific Northwest. Like, we have one hell of a heat advisory going on. And it's just yucky. All around yucky. No good yuckiness. Um, Tuesday, I had to go out and do my grocery shopping. And while we were out and about, I damn near had a heat stroke. And it was only like... 9.30 9.30 in the morning. Um, it said that it was only supposed to get to 95 where I went do, to do my grocery shopping, but it was more like 100, 105 because there's no, um, no like trees or anything. And it's kind of inland a little bit and it's a lower elevation than where I live. So, um, I live in the Olympic National Forest, and we're at a higher elevation. So, we're like two or three hundred feet higher than uh, the city that I was in. Anyways, I didn't get most of my grocery shopping done just because I felt like I was going to literally die. Like, I had to stop and put cold water on my face. Uh, My friend who normally goes out with me um, wanted to go out and have lunch and all this other stuff. I'm like, I cannot eat right now. If I eat, I'm going to throw it all up. Like, you know, we can go. Wherever we go, though, has to have air conditioning. And I just want copious amounts of, like cold liquid i don't care if it's iced tea i don't care if it's water it just needs to be cold oh no if you're not feeling well then we just won't stop and i felt like no bitch listen i want to go somewhere that has air conditioning get me the fuck out of the heat but uh oh well what do you do right um i was recently blessed and i am like thankful to Every god, goddess, and higher power there there is, has been, ever will be, ever was. Um, There's a program called LIHEAP. And uh, LIHEAP helps low-income persons pay for their electric bills and stuff like that. Well, I've utilized the LIHEAP program for years. And um, I got a thing in the mail asking me, they're like, hey, as a one-time offer, because we have extra money in the uh, in the funds, we are offering all LightHeap customers a free portable air conditioner. If you want one, turn in the paperwork and um, we'll have one sent out to you. So I got myself yesterday, or... No, Monday, I got a brand new Black & Decker portable air conditioner that's 8,550 BTU 
with a DOE test standard of 14,000 BTU. And um, I don't know why, but it says not certified for the state of California, but I don't give a damn. I no longer live in California. Um, so I originally had it set up in my living room window, which, uh, my couch is in front of, and that just did not work out. So, um, Tuesday after I got home and was all cooled off or whatever, I, um, I moved the air conditioner from the living room window to the dining room window because I never use the dining room, let alone utilize that window for anything really, except for putting a box fan in. And uh, the box fan for that window died. So it was like serendipitous that one, this air conditioner showed up like a few days after the box fan for that window died. And two, that I was granted this ability to get this brand new air conditioner and so it has been a game changer like right now it's 99.8 degrees outside I, I don't know why everything has to have a point whatever and just like call it a fucking hundred degrees you know but so for the point of this conversation it's a hundred degrees outside right now I just got home and I turned on the AC and it's already down to like 73 and I have it set for 64. So my house is nice and cool and I am so thankful for that. And the other thing I was blessed with is I've been cleaning my house. I've had some friends come over, help me clean and I've been doing rearranging, getting rid of a lot of stuff and just going through all the years of clutter and like mental health disorganization and ADHD hoarding and stuff like that. And so, um, I, I had this huge CRT television from like the nineties was a great television, had an amazing picture, great sound quality. It was just the thing was the size of the rock of fucking Gibraltar, okay? And it took me everything I could back before my back was really messed up to get it into my house and up onto the pedestal where it is now. Um... But my a girlfriend of mine came over and she's like, dude, your house looks fucking amazing. I'm like, thank you. You know, I really am trying. Like, you know, she was one of the people that originally came over and helped me. And so she hadn't been in my house since she had come over to help me. And um, anyways, she's all now we just need to get rid of your TV. I was like, yeah, she's all when do you want to do that? I'm like, whenever I said, I know that I'm going to need help getting it out of here and I'm going to need help getting it to the dump. And she's like, bitch, bet, let's do this right now. And she put her hair up in a ponytail. We started cleaning stuff off. I was like, are you sure? Because it's kind of hot. She's like, I ain't got nothing to do for the next three hours. So let's do this. So we cleared off everything on top of my old television got it we had to roll it out of the house like we ended up cutting the power cord off and just rolling it out of the house and all this other stuff so for the last week or so i haven't had a tv in my living room and uh prior to that i haven't watched tv in my living room in probably a good maybe 11 or 12 years. Not that, you know, the TV that I had didn't work or anything. And I had a Roku attached to it and PlayStation and Wii and all that other stuff. But I just never watched TV in the living room. And so yesterday I was blessed with a 
I believe it's a 42 inch Hisense Roku enabled television. So it already has Roku installed on it. And the people were all like, hey, you want this TV? It's practically brand new. We've only had it for like three years. We upgraded to something a little bit larger and it's just been sitting in our guest room. I was like, uh, yes, please. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got myself a new television and I got myself a new uh, air conditioner and I'm really happy. And as I'm talking to you right now, Amazon is pulling up with my um, TV stand. So that's pretty freaking awesome, too. Um, it has the stand that it comes with, you know, those little plastic feet on the bottom or whatever, but it's just too low for me to be able to utilize it with my, um, with my sound bar and stuff. So I'm going to, uh, add that bracket thing on there and go from there. Sorry, I had to pause it for a second to, uh, meet the delivery driver. So, Alexa, thank my delivery driver. Okay, so the internet's not up yet. Anyways, if that's something that you don't know and you have a Echo Dot or something like that, you could tell it to thank your delivery driver. <laughs> and what that does is Every time they get thanked, they get bonus points and it really helps them out. It's like, um, give, giving a company a five-star review or whatever. And in the, uh, during the holidays, when you do that, it really gives them an, another little boost. And sometimes they even get like a $5 tip from Amazon and it doesn't even come off of your account. So, um, yeah, I've just been feeling very blessed and very thankful for everything that's been going on in my life the last week or so. Um, I've also been a little emotional with just everything. You know, I, I don't know what exactly is causing the emotional like outpour but um i talk so much especially in my book about disconnecting so you can reconnect and like just saying a little something to the universe regardless of what your higher power looks like if you believe in a god or you don't believe in a god just having that thankful vibe about you and just putting it out into the universe like you know thank you universe for providing me with or thank you universe for doing xyz or you know the last couple of days have been really good for me thank you universe blah blah i'm a huge believer in energy and karmatic energy and stuff like that and you know that i don't usually talk about religion and politics and spirituality and whatever else on my YouTube channel or here on the podcast, but I also want to be completely transparent like I usually am with you all. And that's something that I do. I don't necessarily believe in a all powerful God or whatever else, but I do believe in energy and exchanges of energy and trying to be just a good person. So, um, just putting it out there, you know, a lot of times that thank you, you know, just like, I didn't have to meet the driver at the front door and personally thank him and ask him about his day. And if he was hydrated enough, like I had a soda ready for him. I'm like, you know, I don't know if you drink soda or whatever, or if he allowed to accept it or not, but he, he thanked me and he declined it, which, you know, is understandable because, you know, people can do some pretty horrible shit, but I still like to do things like that. And, um, 
if I see somebody on the side of the road walking or hitchhiking or whatever, I'll pull over and I'll ask them, hey, would you like a ride? Um, and, you know, sometimes they'll accept, sometimes they won't. And that was part of, like, what I told the universe or whatever when I was manifesting getting a car. That no matter what, if I see a hitchhiker, I'm going to stop and pick them up because I have been in their exact shoes. I know what it's like to have to stand at the bus stop. I know what it's like to have to get from point A to point B and being exposed to the elements or what the fuck ever. So I always stop. Now, maybe it's just because I'm a man and I don't think of the, da- the inherent danger or whatever. Because a girlfriend of mine, we talked about this one day. Um, I I talked to her. I was like, yeah, you know, last night I stopped and I picked up a, um, a hitchhiker. You know, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night or what have you. And um, he turned out to be a homeless guy and just needed to get back to his encampment. And without even thinking about it, I just drove him out into the middle of the woods, like all willy nilly. And um, he's all, yeah, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a rare thing to get picked up at night, especially. He's like, you know, I guess people are just afraid of like serial killers and stuff like that. And I looked over at the guy without even like cracking a smile. I was all, well, what's the, what's the chances of two murderers being in a car, right? And he started laughing and I started laughing. And um, I always keep emergency supplies in the back of my car. So I gave him like two pounds of coffee. I gave him some hand sanitizer that you could use to like start fires with or just, you know, if he wants to clean his hands up. Uh, Gave him a jug for water. I didn't have any like actual water on me. And that was one thing I told him I was really sorry about. But uh, gave him a a beanie and a few other things. And just came on home about my business. Not even thinking twice about the fact that. One, I'm giving this complete total stranger a ride to a homeless encampment in the middle of the woods at night where I don't have cell phone reception. And, you know, I'm not a small guy and I could take care of myself if I need to, but my first reaction isn't, how is this person going to hurt me? My first reaction typically is, how can I help this person? Or does this person need help or whatever else? So, um, yeah, just having things in your heart and putting it out into the universe, you know, that whole like new saying coming around, it doesn't cost anything to be a nice person. Um, you know, I, I joke around and I say, well, you haven't seen my pharmacy bill apparently. Um, but in, at the end of the day, I try to be a good person to everyone. And I mentioned this in either one of my YouTube videos or in a previous podcast, but when I had my uh, fundraiser event for my book, there was a guy who came up and talked to me and he's like, you don't remember me, do you? And I said, I'm sorry, I really don't. And he's like, it's okay, you know, it's been several years, but you were really awesome to me one day on the bus. And every time that we saw each other afterwards, you always had a really nice things to say and we're just always really decent. And so when I started looking into your book and stuff and I realized it was you and I read a couple of the passages, it was like, why is this dude reading my diary? He's like, I just wanted to come and personally tell you thank you because your bravery has helped me and has inspired me to step outside of my own comfort zone and to share my story and 
start my own book. And it was like one of those, wow, like here I am not remembering this guy at all. Couldn't have picked him from a lineup. And he remembers this interaction with me that happened years ago, probably when I was heavily medicated and going through a bunch of my own bullshit. But yet I still had the forefront of like the forefront of being nice to somebody and look at how it has paid off. Like years later, this guy has said these really beautiful and amazing things to me and about me. So it it's things like that, that, you know, you never know how things are going to affect other people and when it's going to come back on you. And I know that we live in a society where it's so quick to judge people so quick to say fuck you versus thank you so quick to react and respond out of defense versus listening for understanding and that we talk at people not with people or to people so if you take anything from this long drawn out podcast today just think about like how you can directly or indirectly affect people in a way that will eventually come back and maybe one day help you. Um, but do things for people out of the kindness of your heart. Don't do it with the expectation of gaining something later on down the road. If you do stuff with the expectation of repayment, then you are not doing it out of love. You're not doing it out of respect. You're not doing it out of kindness. You're doing it out of self-gratification later on down the road. I always try to give of myself selflessly. If I have $10 in my pocket and I see somebody on the side of the road looking for money or asking for money, begging for money, whatever you want to call it, I will give them five or 10 of that money. If it's the last $10 that I have, I will give them the full $10. Or if I have two fives, I'll give them a five. And it's not up to me to make or pass decisions on people because, oh, well, they're just going to use that money for drugs. Oh, they're just going to use that money for alcohol. Oh, they're just going to use this money for whatever else. That is not any of my concern. My concern is my spirit is telling me, Michael, give this to this person. And every single time that I follow my intuition and I give to a person who says they're in need, regardless of if they're in need or not, if my heart is telling me to do it and I follow it, I am always exponentially blessed with better fortune. So I'll give that person my last $10 and three or four days later, I'll get $60 out of the blue. So, you know, I'm not giving with the expectation of getting a reimbursement or getting repaid. I'm just paying it forward because I know what it's like to need a dollar for the bus. I know what it's like to need 10 or $15 to buy yourself, whatever. I know what it's like to stand on the street corner with a sign asking total strangers for kindness and for money because you have a family at home or you have bills at home or whatever else. And 
you know, yeah, the person could go get a job, but that doesn't take care of their needs today. And maybe they can't work. Maybe they have a, a disability or something that is keeping them from doing that work. Like I said, it's not for me to decide. It's not for me to pass judgment. It's not for me to say no. I give of myself selflessly so that somebody else may come up. Because chances are I'm just going to use that $10 to go buy myself a Starbucks. Even though I have coffee at home, I have an ice maker, I have a blender, I can make the coffee at home. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you for listening as long as you have. And uh, make sure that you thank your Amazon delivery driver through your Echo Dot or uh, Alexa home show or whatever else. And um, just try that for the next 30 days. Just give of yourself selflessly. You see the person on the side of the road looking for a ride, pull over, give them a ride. You see the person in front of the store asking for a dollar or whatever else, hand them a dollar, hand them two dollars. Help them out. You know, it really does make you start to feel better and makes you a better person in the long run. And as you change your vibrational patterns, you affect everything else within your life and you bring in what you put out. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have been listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Please make sure to check back often as new episodes are released bi-weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send a message to hellocupcakeitsme at gmail.com. And until next time, stay happy, safe, and keep doing the best you can with what you have been given.